welcome back to my channel. So, um, you guys asked for some vlogs, and I've decided to try my hand at it. So, I'm going to go out and uh, do my horses for the night, feed them and everything, and I'm probably going to let them out to play for a little bit. So, if you want to see that, keep watching. But first, I have to make a quick interruption and show you the baby kitties. Hi, baby kitties. Hi, Julie. I want to see your face. Now that I'm done playing with kitties, now I'm going to go take care of my horses. Oh, look at how muddy it is. Hi, guys. It's so muddy. Phoenix. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you, Flicka? Flicka! Hi. Distraction number two is our baby Nigerian dwarf goats, Piglet, and Winnie the Pooh. Hi! Are you so cute? You've already eaten today. Well, you already eaten tonight. You eat too much. Okay, we're gonna get back. Come here. Come here. Oh. Over you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. They can jump too. No, Mama already fed you tonight. I'm sorry. You guys will be fine. You have hay you can eat. You've already had your milk though. My plan is I'm going to let them out to graze for a little bit. I might see if they want to run around and play before they get their hay for the night. Um, I've been trying to start them out on some grass so that they can eat that without end up having problems with their feet. Oh, hi! <gasps> Peekaboo! Hey! That is not very nice. Quit being a little brat. Oh, see, you, you can be just as mean though. Comes the nightmare part where I get to take all three ponies out one door. Hey, I get to go out first. Flicka, I get to go out first. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Hey, stop. Crazy. They're like, oh, we're going to eat. Come on. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Hey, Goofball, I gotta get your lead rope off first. Oh, he's like, I don't care. I wanna run. Can I get your lead rope off? Hey, you little stinker. I know, I just gotta take your lead rope off.
So as you can tell, they're very happily grazing. I'm going to go put their hay and water in the barn. Let them keep eating. Probably let them stay out for another 10 or 15 minutes. So you can come watch me do that. Phoenix! Taste. Huh? How's the grass taste? Does it taste good? It's like, don't talk to me right now. I'm eating. So I thought something fun to do really quick while the ponies are still eating is I want to go show you guys um, the places that I used to um, work with my imaginary horses. I've had so many imaginary horses over the years, but um, let's see. So for starters, this field behind me was my dressage. Arena, and I would run right up in here and I would sit down with paper and pencil and I would draw out all the maps I'd go out and I would just run back and forth back and forth all the time practicing in this field secondly is this goat pen here um, hi Trudy I used to do all of my quote like open shows here. I would have my sister sit in the middle. We had like a bucket or something sitting in the middle here for a while. I would make her sit there and then I would have her judge all of my different performances I put on. I would do raining and pleasure and jumping and I did just about everything been kind of crazy and then lastly is I had a fort in these trees and now remember all of this I did when I was like between uh, 12 and 15 years old <laughs> so I made this when I was 12 and in here there's not really much left but all in this passageway I would take logs and then lay them out and so I would start up here by the garage and I would set up all of these jumps and I would start over there where the grass is and I would run my horse over all the jumps and then up and around. Um, there's the only log left that one of my little sisters is using for something else but oh my goodness. I spent so long in here and then for a while I pretended that I had an imaginary barn and there was a stall in between each one of these trees. For a while I even took a rope, like tied it from one tree branch to the other tree branch so the horses couldn't get out. It's pretty crazy. So that was just something, a little something I thought about that might be fun to show you guys. I know if you follow me on Instagram. You know that I didn't really grow up doing much with horses at least not like mm, some kids did so I was kind of stuck with my imagination which I wasn't happy with but <laughs> I made it work and so now there's lots of crazy memories to go with it well how's the grass taste mm-hmm Yeah, you're happy it's spring, summer. I don't know, our weather has been so weird. We really went from like winter to summer weather. Although today it's actually kind of cold out. Tonight, I guess I should say. Phoenix, how's the grass taste? <gasps> He's like, don't talk to me. Hi. 
So normally I just take them into the barn one at a time. Nadia, come on. Which is probably the smarter thing to do. Phoenix. Um, they get sidetracked so easily by grass. Okay, let's go. Come on. You got hay inside the barn. Come on. More feet. Let's go. Let's go. First pony in. Come on. Come on look. You even got hay. Come on, Bye. Bye, people. All right. Who's next? Girl, you say bye to people. And thanks for watching. Oh no, you don't. No, you are not coming back out. You have hay right there. Oh my god, but this hay is brown. That grass is green. Okay, come on, Phoenix. Phoenix. Hey, come on. Good boy. Watching. No, you gotta stand still. I take the halter off. I can only do this one handed. No, your hair's popping. In. There we go. All right. Good night, guys. Enjoy your hay. Oh, are you gonna say goodbye? No. Okay. Have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. video thank you so much for watching I did it kind of last minute I was not expecting to come out and vlog at all but I know a lot of you from Instagram said that you wanted to see some vlogs so I go I decided to go ahead and give it a shot so hopefully it was kind of interesting um, again I didn't really have anything planned um, make sure to let me know either in the comments or on Instagram what kind of videos you want to see um, ideas for other vlogs. I do have a couple tutorials planned. I'm finishing up the lay down tutorial now. Um, and then I also have a tutorial that I'm going to be working on about how to teach your horse to side pass. And then another one on how to teach them to sit. Those are the two that I have right now. So if you have any other ideas for tutorials or vlogs, be sure to let me know. Um, make sure you're subscribed so you can see everything else I put out this summer. Um, I'm also probably going to be posting some videos um, of stuff that I do with the big horses that I'm working with at the other place. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.